Welcome back to Bicky Nation, hashtag Bicky Nation, Mighty Supreme Leader. Bicky Hunter. Followers of the nation. Wow. Another aunt, it's Tim Tam from Australia. Yep. It is the double chopped caramel cream flavor made with irresistible real chocolate. Thank you, Tim Tam. It looks great. Yep. Hopefully it doesn't have chili or salted caramel in it. Or honey. Ooh, Australia's yeah. fans' choice. Yep. It's got um, a special little thing on it. I believe this one here, the uh, fans got to choose between this one and I'm not quite sure what the other one was. Maybe it was, I think it was a coconut one. I'm, I'm not 100% <coughs> sure on that one. It was this one or, or a coconut one and uh, fans chose this one. No nice um, picture like on some of the other flavoured ones. Um, this is a 180 gram compared to the 200 gram on the original and the original double um, coat. So you're losing... Um, content are uh, for the flavor so they're mm. obviously charging for the flavored bit of it yeah i think so um, but you know very good was it was a double coat is that double coat yeah double uh, double chop double chop mm. okay all so, right we'll see we'll see how we go blessings time for the crumble <laughs> Okay, let's do this. All right. Break it in half. Quite a good looking biscuit. Yep. Um, Milk chocolate, so I'm a fan of that. That gets a tick in my box. Mm. Now, I'm going to show the fans something. That's the middle, and actually on the side, it's got like a nice big chalky infill. Mm. You notice that? See, I got the nice big chalky infill. Yeah. Yes. It smells all right. I quite like it, to be honest. Definitely a good caramel flavour in there. Good amount of chocolate. Mm. The uh, double chocolate helps. The choc to caramel ratio is good. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And I like the uh, the cream centre. Yeah, really nice. Mm. They've uh, Fans have actually picked a good one. Yeah. That's funny. Um, get the fans to pick your next flavours. Uh, they might be... Winners than uh, than other ones that artists can come up with uh, honey, uh, chili. Yeah, agreed. Now uh, speaking of which, um, we have noticed the biscuit aisles in the supermarkets is shrinking, and I mm. heard or I read that the sales of biscuits is going down. Oh really? Yeah. Um, okay. If that's true, um, everyone needs to lift their game um, and get a a, a picky club in their office. Um, and we also need to eat and buy more biscuits, especially Australian biscuits. <clears throat> and uh, we need more choice and more of the aisle. And I've seen Coles and Woolies mix crackers in with the biscuits. And I don't know who's running the show there, but amateur. <laughs> yeah, look, I don't think you can condense it uh, any more than what it is. The people love biscuits, I think. Sales are down, but uh, mm. I find it can turn around pretty quickly. Thanks for including the Italian mm. things and some of the European stuff. I welcome anything. Anything in the Bicky aisle, but um, it's continually shrinking. So I think we need more choice and that needs to change. Um, and then things go on sale and they sell out. So, I mean, come on. If you've got them on sale and you're selling them, mm. stock more of them. I think so. But yeah, it's just the amount of biscuits in the aisle. It keeps getting smaller and um, it's it, it it's triggering me. Uh, trigger? I walk feel... <laughs> through and I'm like, Ugh, Yeah, oh, I know. the Bickies. Yep. Um, I think Tim Tam would actually take up quite a large portion of those uh, of those bays in the um, in the supermarkets. Yeah, mm. but there, there are other biscuits. I mean, don't get me wrong, Tim Tams, they're bloody good. It's up there, yeah. except for a few of their flavours are questionable. But you know, overall, they're very good quality. Mm. Um, I think they've got a TV ad at the moment that's saying something like, "There's no substitute for quality," and I think that yes. is their their slogan or something. Mm. Um, and yes, that's true, um, but the flavor thing like yes the quality's there but the flavor thing is some of them are a bit of a miss they're a bit questionable mm. um but we shouldn't complain because the prices of tim tam in australia are much lower than the rest of the world so yeah well <coughs> on special usually these well i think four dollars for a normal packet of uh, of tim tams um and when they come on special half price uh two bucks yeah. um i don't that's, i don't think you can go wrong with with two dollar tim tams that's pretty um good. That's, pretty that's, good. that's great value for money maybe you can comment below how much tim tams are in your part of the world um 
can you even get them? That's that's sometimes half the challenge if you're if you can't get them. I know for us it's a bit hard to, to get our hands on uh, some different variety of international biscuits. Mm. Um, only some specialty stores, but uh, yeah, Tim Tams. Can you get them in your country? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, can you get these flavors in your country? Mm. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, no substitute for quality. Uh, talking about the Oreos, they're often made in different parts of the world. I think mm. Arnott's is only made in Australia. I used to drive past an Arnott's factory on my way to work. I don't anymore, mm. but um, you could smell the biscuits from kilometers around. And I, really? I, I cannot describe to you the smell. Good or bad? It is the best thing I've ever smelled in my life. I think you could, you could do um, tourist smell tours. <laughs> And you could just drive near the Arnott's place and you would just sit there all day. What did it smell like? Like raspberry and Bicky baking. Oh, wow. Uh, and I, I, I felt like stopping my car, putting my windows down and just... I could sit there all day and just smell the oh, air. You don't want to be a good idea. I know I've seen them around because I think some... Um, I think in Asia you can buy fresh cans of, uh, of air from we different places that. of the world. We should Cap- sell the air. Capture the air in a can... And then you could you could spray it. That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. I've seen them before. You can buy canisters of fresh air. Wow. You've heard it first on Bicky Nation, uh, the Arnott's factory smell. Um, now, if I worked there and I got a pay cut, I'd be like, you know what? I'm still showing up. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It, yeah. it, it's almost like a drug when you smell that air. It is uh, something I, else. I sometimes think that we're quite uh, uh, fortunate in this country. Like, Arnott's do a great job of, uh, of great biscuits everywhere. Obviously, Tim Tams being probably the most famous one. But if I think Kingston, Shortbread Creams, Monte Carlo. Um, Monte Carlo. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> they, they, they do a biscuit and they do it well. Well, that factory was G-Bung in Queensland, um, Australia. So, Arnott's, if you're listening... Um, please don't close or move that factory because I still sometimes drive past it. Um, I've never had the opportunity to walk in there or... It'd be good to do an episode from there. Actually, yeah, that would be cool. That would be interesting. Yep. Uh, uh, invitation. Um, <laughs> put it out there. <laughs> but on its comment below. Uh, we, we may not leave, though, after we smell the air. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wonder how the house prices go in that area. <laughs> do the house price increase? <laughs> Possibly. Um, look, it is, it is really nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know what biscuits they cook there cause I, I don't think they cook everything at every location. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting it out there. The smell is, I've never smelled anything like it. I don't know anything like it in the world. Um, yeah. Uh, smell tourism. There you go. You heard it first. <laughs> All right. That's time it... for the Bicky Spectrum. Bicky Spectrum. All right, here we go. That one's definitely half, half biscuit, half chalk. Um, straight in there. Don't need to think about it. Completely agree. Part biscuit, part chalk. Yeah. Fair enough. And um, the score out of 10 biscuits. Uh, I'm going to give this one a six and a half. That was, that was a good biscuit. Um, can see why fans, fans voted that one. Um, very nice. Delicious. Yeah, look. Very close. I'm going in a seven. Um, I think Tim Tam did quite good on this. It's not too sugary. Um, yeah, look, um, Bicky Hunter has a habit of overscoring Oreos and underscoring <laughs> Tim Tams, but, um, you know, yeah. didn't quite make it to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, no, no, it didn't. Um, no, that, that one was a good one, but, but again, um, below, below standard, I think also just above the, the average. So, but, um, there you have it. So there we go. No spiel on this biscuit, but I can see. Um, but, you know, very good. Fans' choice. There we go. Double chop caramel cream flavour. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Bicky Nation. Hashtag Bicky Nation, Mighty Supreme Leader. Bicky Hunter. Followers of the, the nation. nation. See you next time.